Hello and welcome back. So today let's have a look at the advantages, disadvantages and ways of implementing and preparing liquid chemical and organic fertilizers. So now let's start with the chemical fertilizers. So here are the advantages as well as disadvantages then followed by how to prepare the liquid and how to implement it. So sometimes you get the chemical fertilizers as a salt based liquid which has a combination of all three and sometimes you might just get three different bottles like this. So I have these three different bottles of NP and K with other minute nutritions for the plant and I just need to take 1 ml per liter. So my can is about 10 liters so that's why I take about 10 liters or 10 ml of the liquids and then I just put them into the can and then I add water to it and I shake the water with the liquids thoroughly to make a good mixture. Then what's left is just to put them into the plants. So one thing you should avoid doing is putting it on the leaves because they make a coating around the leaves which prevents the breathing of the plant. So you should just put them near the soil or at the bottom of the plant. You can use something else if you want to wash the leaves of the plant. You can just use regular water. So at the moment I am fertilizing the radish, the broccoli and the okra. So now let's have a look at how to use the organic fertilizer. Here are the disadvantages and advantages both. Then I'll show you where I've been using them. So the organic fertilizer can be the liquid fertilizer like this, the fish oil or you can get the seaweed and then all that I'm doing is just putting it into the plants at the base. This is really smelly so you should never put it on top of the plants otherwise the leaves will become all yellow. I'm telling it according to my experience.